Rodrigo, of course, season three of Westworld is coming out later this year, which we're very excited about. And so I want to ask the hard-hitting questions. All right. How many times do you think your character has died? Oof. Well, I just don't remember. I don't know, but I would say I died more in the show than in my whole career. For sure, <laughs> for sure I died a lot. I would say like over ten times uh, through the uh, first and second season. Does that have an impact on your real life? Do you question life? Oh. <laughs> well, you you aside from that, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, it does. I mean, everything about the show, I, I, I just think that is so interesting. What we try to explore in the show, and uh, you know, the, the, the relationship between. AI and men and mm -hmm. like who's controlling who and uh, it, it makes me question a lot and I, I actually since I started doing the show I started to research and get into this much much more. That's interesting you say that because I actually question a lot of things when I watch the show as well and for those of you living under a rock if you've never seen Westworld it is very complicated it's a complicated plot there's a lot of characters yeah. so yeah. if you need to catch up or you haven't seen it I thought we could do something fun for them okay. I thought I would show you a character and you would have 15 seconds to summarize what their journey has been. 15 seconds? One, five. Correct. I, Nearly impossible, but yeah. if anyone can do it, this, it's you. Oh, my hard. God. All right, <laughs> shall we? How about 15 hours? I mean, <laughs> you're going to take what you can get. Okay, okay. DJ Daniel, are you ready? 15 seconds on the clock? All right. First person, summarize for me the journey of Bernard. Oof. Okay. Bernard. Yeah. Uh, is he a clone? Is he the creator? Mm -hmm. Bernard. The only surviving host, <laughs> Bernard. Are we, are we understanding what's, what's up with him when he connects to the? So far, what I gathered is his name is Bernard. <laughs> That's what I got. Oh, I Bernard. Said, Bernard. I, I told you. I would <laughs> that was good. That. that was good. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's try another. Let's try another. I'll try to do Redeem. better. Redeem. No, no, you're doing Redeem great. Yourself. DJ Daniel, 15 seconds. Next up, Maeve. Hit me. Oh, Maeve. Yeah. Uh. Maeve, she's awake. Now she remembers the past, and now she makes Hector remembers too. She's trying to wake him up. She's gonna make a revolution. They're gonna escape. They're in love. But her daughter, her daughter, they. Need to... <laughs> that was a little better. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Her daughter is a mermaid. I knew it. I thought where you were going with that. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try one more. The man in black, not to be confused with men in black clothes, oh, but the man in black. DJ Daniel, 15 seconds, go. Man in black, well... You can do it, you can do come it. Come on, uh, come help on. me out. Man in black, <laughs> evil, nasty, or just human? Deep. Is he, is he, does he, is looking for the maze? Right, yeah. Fascinating stuff. Oh, yeah. Fascinating stuff. It's a complicated <laughs> show, isn't it? I'm trying, it's, uh, let's say it's yes. challenging. It's challenging, it challenges you to... Uh, think it challenges mm -hmm. you. Uh, it's less complicated and more challenging. I, I like. I agree. It's I think it just makes you. It, in, it sparks conversation. There you go. You know, you have deep conversations with your friends. Actually, you yeah. think about it. it. Keeps you up at night. Yeah. That and type of thing. How great is he on the show? Oh, He's fantastic! Are you kidding me? Kidding me? I mean, oh my God! <laughs> what you remember. think I just snuck into a stylist's house and matched him for no reason? I no. Mean, okay. Come on. <laughs> Now you both start in Hulu's reprisal. Tell everyone what is it about. What's wrong with you, Abigail? Oh my gosh, it's a it's a world building show. So we're introducing this new fantastical world that's rockabilly, that's noir. I play a woman named Doris, who is actually a woman named Catherine Harlow, who was abused by the men in her life and left for dead. And so she recreates herself as this woman named Doris and comes back many years later to seek revenge. Fierce. Oh, and who you play? She's. I got now. It's my turn. She's okay. Amazing in it. <sighs> You cannot miss this. Oh, sure. I love that. What about you? Who do you play? I play Joel. Joel is the de facto leader of this group, this gang called the Banished Brawlers, who's trying to maintain order in a very lawless world while he's also trying to raise his young daughter. Mm -hmm. A very conflicted um, character that has a very distinct beard. <laughs> <laughs> we know that part. Yeah. But we actually have a trailer. Let's check it out. We've corrupted everything down south. These are good times we're living in. We're untouchable. And if you get in their way, they don't mind shedding a little blood. To the point where my brother and some others drag me through a field with their truck. What would they do that for? I'm afraid that part is a little more complicated. So, I'll be seeing you soon. Yo, my kill of that.
Jill, you're you're walking blonde in this show. I know. So I gotta ask, what's more fun, being blonde or brunette? I mean, I'm just fun. A true? Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> um, you know, it was such a stretch. I really wanted to find a transformation for Doris and pull from the archetypes of being a femme fatale and from the early movies. Um, but what was really cute is that, you know, it it is a wig. And, and my character is actually brunette when you meet her. So you really do see the juxtaposition. I have an 11-year-old son, and he, would, he has blonde hair and blue eyes. And he would come to set when I'm as, as Doris, all dressed up as Doris, and he would take my face in his little hands and my hair and be like, Mommy, I want you to look like this all the time. <laughs> and I was like, thank you. Because <laughs> I clearly don't look like that, but he really likes Doris. So well, really I think you look great. I think you sound great. I think you sound smart and I look think, smart. I think you're wonderful. Oh, I think you're great. I think you're great.